Hello everyone, this is the Fuzzy Slug again, coming at you with another tutorial. Uh, this tutorial will be how to install uh, or how to use custom ringtones with Discord. This is a topic that a lot of people want to know how to do, uh, and it's not really that easy uh, to do it. And a lot of people don't know actually about uh, what I'm about to bring up here is Better Discord, which is uh, it's a Discord sort of plugin-ish. Um, that changes your Discord, allows you to install custom themes, and gives you a lot more options for Discord. So the first thing you're going to do is go into your web browser, and you're going to want to go to this first link. Uh, all these links will be in the description of the video. Uh, you want to click Download for Windows. Um, this is not a tutorial, tutorial for Macs, so it's going to be Windows. And you're going to want to install it. There it is. Click Accept. Next. And what it's going to do is it's going to uh, restart uh, Discord after the installation and install to the stable release. So you're going to want to do that. Install. It's going to kill the Discord process. So if you're in a call, it's going to cancel it out. So you might want to tell your buddies that you'll be right back. And it's going to install. And click details and see exactly what it's doing, even though you probably don't know what this means. I don't either. <laughs> Once it's done, it should start up Discord again. There it is. You can click exit. And do not be alarmed if when Discord loads up, you don't notice anything different. You probably won't. In most cases, uh, but you won't even notice better Discords there, which is normal. It, it, you usually have more options down here. But Better Discord has been having issues recently. It used to just work when doing this, but now you have to patch it. So you have to go to the second link in the description which will bring you to bandaged better discord you want to down, uh, click on the exe file there and click it and it'll pull up something similar here we are and you click accept next and it's going to do the same exact thing uh, but you must install better discord before you do this because it's only going to override a certain amount of files so better discord is like a base and this is just like a layer on top of it that needs to be there for it to work properly So it's going to start back up here, and we should notice more settings now. So we know better Discord. See, you saw that on there for a second there. If you saw that B show up, that was better Discord. And we have these issues, uh, these not issues. We have these uh, new options down here, and it says bandage better Discord. So we have a uh, oh, that's weird. Okay, Discord's freezing on me. Um, go back in the user settings down here. There we are. Uh, you have plugins, themes, custom CSS, emotes, stuff like that. Uh, we're not going to be focusing on themes or plugins. Uh, we're going to be focusing on plugins more, but not really themes. That's something you can do in your free time. You just look up Better Discord Themes and open the themes folder and drag those in there. Uh, but it will pull up this. If you don't know how to, okay, if you don't want to click Open Plugins Folder, another way to get here is go down here to your Windows 10 search. Um, or you can go into Run and type percent app data percent. So you type percent app data percent, and it would pull up the file folder. You'd click on that, and it would pull up a f uh, this folder. And in here, there might be more items for you, uh, but this is generally where it's going to take you. It's going to take you here. So you go click Better Discord, and then you can go in the Plugins folder, and that's where it also will be. So what you want to do now is go to the third link. And this is the plugin we're going to be using. So you can click the download button down here, or you can click on the plugin right there. And either way, it's going to pull up this. Uh, what you want to do is Control A. Make sure you're clicking in your web browser, or else it'll pull up something else. Click in your web browser, Control A, Control C. Now you can go back, and we know that it will be called right here notification sounds dot plugin dot js you need to copy that exactly so you want to go to view at the top of your file explorer make sure this is checkmark file name extensions otherwise you won't be able to change the extension to dot js so you want to right click in here new text document and change this to notification sounds dot plugin dot js and then delete the dot txt so it's no longer a text file you want to right click that click edit and paste this all in here. Don't be worried about this right now. We can click Save by Control S, or we can go up here, click Save, and exit out of here. Next thing we're going to want to do is install Notepad++. 
plus plus if you don't already have it this will allow us to edit it uh, and it'll make more sense to us in the code it uses so you just want to click the download button it'll take two seconds wait for that installer to finish downloading even though it says it's supposed to be done there we are click on it it'll open the installer click yes okay next I agree next next and I don't want a shortcut so install now take a couple seconds to install but once it's done you can click finish and close and it should start up instantly now what we can do oh, no update is available okay now what we can do is right click and it will say edit with notepad plus plus once we go in here we'll notice that there's a lot of options that make more sense than in that regular notepad uh... for instance these are all your notification sounds and you may be like okay so what does this mean this source right here okay it says an mp3 file how do i get to this assets folder and look what's in it or add stuff to it well the thing is you can't all these asset folders are on discord's servers which means it's not on your computer it's all on their server it's not local so instead what we're going to do is change the source uh... entirely now you may be like okay i have an mp3 file uh... in my music folder Whoops. In that. You may be like, oh, okay, so I have a, uh, in, um, a song file in my music. Can I just do that? Uh, that won't work either. I've already tried that. And you need to make sure that the file is a .mp3 uh, and not a .wav or .mv. Uh, um, those won't work either. So what you need to do is you're going to go back in your web browser, go to the uh, fourth link in the description below, and you're going to want to uh, go to this site where you can upload your mp3 file so you want to drag it in there or you can click to upload and navigate your way to it it'll process and once that's done is where it's going to get a bit confusing so that's what the sound sounds like but you're like okay can I just use this link no you can't do that either it needs to be a dot mp3 link so the way you do that is you right click this this may get a bit confusing so <laughs> If I'm going a bit too fast, you can run the video in slow motion or whatever you want. At the bottom right corner of the video, there should be a settings bar. You can change the speed. You can right click, click inspect. It'll pull up this. Uh, I prefer to put this in full screen and then click these three buttons over here and make the dot go on the bottom. And now what you want to do is you want to navigate to where that is. So it's right here and then there's two of these. You want to do the one at the top. So you double click it and it should highlight this strand of code right here. You just want to highlight the, uh, by clicking and dragging the uh, what what's inside of the quotes. Then you control C that which copies it. And you want to replace this up here with it. So it should be uh, vocaroo.com slash media command php question mark media equals and then whatever your line of code is, it'll all be different for everyone. This site is the three site. Now you could copy it up here. Uh, I don't know if that'll work. I didn't try that way, but I know what will work is if you right-click that, go and inspect element again, and it should be right here, which is the same. So you can just go up here, Control C by copying that, and then go minimize that. Go into your Notepad plus plus, and these are all your notification sounds. You can change all of these, and it should say right here what it is, like voice chat user joined. So I'd be like. Uh, if a user joined your voice channel, you could hear them come in or something like that. Or if you joined, you could hear something. Uh, but what we're going to go for is incoming call, which is the ringtone. Now what we want to do is highlight in between the quotes, and then control V, and that will paste it. Now control S to save it, and that will turn from red to blue. And then we can exit out of it entirely. We can exit out of all of this and we need to restart discord the easiest way to do that is to go down here at the bottom right click the up arrow here right click discord I don't know why there's three of them there there uh, there's one of them now and click quit discord that will go away we can go into the search and type in discord and bring it back up again once discord loads up again uh, you can have someone call you and it will change the ringtone now I'm going to load up my alt on my other computer and see if I can call myself and see if it works. Okay, so Discord has loaded up on here now. So what we're gonna do is enable the plugin. I forgot to do that before we restarted, but it shouldn't make a difference. So click on user settings, go down here to plugins, and turn on the plugin. So now it sh has started. So now I'm gonna go onto my alt, 
and call myself whoops not that so now I'm gonna go onto my alt and call myself and see if it works okay you see that it was a bit delayed there but it still works so I'm gonna decline that and try it again there we go that was a bit quicker that time. so now after the first call we start on this one it should play the audio as your ring it, depending on the size of the audio clip it may play only once may play three times um, I don't think there's a limit to how long the audio can be but discord has its own timer in which um, if you don't pick up within that time it's just gonna automatically ignore the call so you don't hear the ringtone anymore you may already notice that with other uh, calls so Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I'm probably going to make another video in the future on how to get themes for Dis uh, Better Discord specifically. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to get um, your custom ringtone for Discord. If you liked the video, go ahead and give a thumbs up below. If you disliked it, uh, thumbs down. <laughs> go ahead and leave any comments if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys in the next video.